Hey guys, welcome to episode number 378. Today is Monday, so it's update Monday. And today I wanted to share with you guys all of the driftwood that I discovered uh, on my weekend trip away to a lake house. Uh, lakes, especially in the New England region, are awesome places to find driftwood. And as you can see here, I was able to snag quite a few select pieces of driftwood. Uh, the ways that I collected this driftwood were first to uh, wade out into the water about knee deep and then just walk parallel to the shore um, until I discovered you know, the pieces that I wanted. And I actually found that bucket while I was out and uh, I was able to just fill it full of driftwood. Another method was I also had a kayak with me and I was able to kayak out into the water and again when I saw a good piece of driftwood especially if it was only a foot or two under water I was able to snag those um, from inside of the kayak which worked out pretty well. And then the third method was to use a scuba mask and a snorkel and to swim down a little bit deeper and discover some of these pieces of driftwood uh, sitting down on the bottom a little bit deeper out in the water. Now uh, wood like this is a renewable resource in a lake environment when the trees fall down and they break apart and they become little pieces, little sticks like this uh, oftentimes they're on their way to completely decomposing and they're not going to be around for much longer so if you grab a few of these they're going to be replaced very quickly when the next tree falls down into the water so it's not that big of a deal um, some pieces are already pretty well decomposed like this one is falling apart a little bit uh, less likely to use a piece like this which is falling apart and more likely to use a piece like this, which is made of very hard wood. Uh, some of these are the root structures of these trees that have fallen over, and uh, those typically hold up a little bit better. Uh, sometimes these are basically 90% submerged in the sand or in the mud, and sometimes that helps to preserve them a little bit more as well. And uh, I was happy to snag um, this driftwood that I did and uh, obviously before I use this I'm going to need to blast it with some water as you can see it's a little bit sandy and uh, I've just laid them out here to dry for a day or two to make sure all the snails and bugs uh, have sort of um, been taken care of and obviously the last step before putting them in an aquarium is going to be boiling them. Uh, I might throw them in a bucket with a weak bleach solution for a little while as well, just to make sure that everything is killed off the surface of these pieces of driftwood before I put them in the tank. So that's the update for today. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the pieces that I was able to find on my trip. And I'll leave you with a little montage of me in the water with a GoPro trying to look for some logs. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.